Hey guys, this is my guide to painting Gandalf the White standing and on shadow facts. After you assemble them, the first thing you'll want to do is to take some white glue and paint that onto the base and then dunk the model in some sand. Then shake off the excess. If you want to add stones to your base, you can do that step before this by just gluing small rocks onto the base like I did with this Shadowfax model. Um, I then added some masking tape to protect the corners for when I uh, do my undercoat and added quite a bit of green stuff in the cracks around the neck and the cape. Uh, it's really important you do this so it looks nice and smooth so make sure you fill in all those cracks on both models and then you can give it a prime. I did a light grey prime. And then the first thing I painted was shadow facts. So I took some light grey by combining a normal grey paint with some white. And then painted all of shadow facts and also a little bit of Gandalf's clothing. Make sure it's a little bit watered down. We're, we're doing lots of layers on this model, so we don't want any thick paint, otherwise you'll lose lots of detail. So some of the, the steps are repeated on both models. So uh, whenever I say to paint on one color on Gandalf, I usually mean on both of them. I'm just doing them both at the same time here. Uh, after that, I made a, a color here, which was combined of white, gray, and red to create sort of a purple. So we'll be starting off really dark, creating like the, the shadows, and there's quite a bit of variation in the different whites in this model. So you can apply the purple to his, to that layer of clothing. And then I got some Zandri dust, and we'll do the cape, as well as the beard, and Gandalf's hair. And then next you can do the same colour to uh, Shadow Fax's mane and then the cape of Gandalf in that model too. So I took some Kislev flesh here and painted Gandalf's face and hands. Uh, also I didn't mention but I painted the staff with Zandri dust as well. So it's looking quite odd at the moment but we will start layering on white soon. So First we'll do some washing with Agarax Earthshade on all the places that we painted Zandri dust. And then I made a really light white here. You can see it's very watered down. And this is when we'll start layering some of the brighter colours in. So all of the raised edges on Shadow Facts, I'm painting with this lighter white, leaving some of the, the deeper areas to create some different shading. It should look something like this after that. It's quite a long process, so stick with it. It's worth it though. And then after that, I just took a plain white and added more highlights. Um, and then I filled in the gap with a dry brush of white. So take off all the white on your brush and then fill in some of those gaps so it blends nicely. And then I mixed white with Sandry Dust and filling in some more highlights on the, the Sandry Dust areas. So picking out the highlights on all of the hair and the mane. And then we made a even lighter version. So added some more white to that mix and dry brush the main. And next I got some grey and where we originally did that grey clothing I was picking out the highlights so again it's quite watered down so, so it transitions okay between the, the dark grey and the light like colour we're painting. Um, and make sure not to forget about the small model Everything we're doing on the, the horse model, we're also doing on the footed, the standing model. 
and then take some white and add even more highlights to those areas. Next we want to take uh, that red grey white mixture but this time it has more white in it and pick up the highlights on the purple layer. We want to do these colours um, the, the darker colours below because otherwise the whole model just ends up looking white and not very interesting. Next we will take that Zandri Dust and White mix and paint the cape and Gandalf's hair and then we can do another version of that too, even brighter and dry, dry brush in all the same places. And then I took a Kislev Flesh um, and a White and combined them to create the highlights for Gandalf's face. Next I took some silver and painted the swords. And then I made a combination of white, brown and grey for the shoes and the brooch. And then I lightened that with a little bit more white and did the highlights. Then I took a light brown and painted the sheath for the sword. And then I made a really watery mixture of Zandri dust here and turned it into a, a wash. And I washed the cape so some of that would sink down to the recesses and bring in some more of that colour and kind of merge all of the different layering together. I then painted the hooves of Shadowfax Grey and then took some Agrax Earthshade and washed Gandalf's face with it and also his hands. Next take Nom Oil which I watered down quite a lot, maybe 50% water, 50% Nom Oil and I painted that over all of the grey areas, so uh, Shadowfax's coat and also their clothing on Gandalf. And just be careful you don't go too dark on that. And then I made a pink with red and white and painted the inside of Shadowfax's ears. And this is the end result. Now we just need to base it. And if you want to see a more in-depth version of that, you can have a look at my Urukai warrior video, but basically I paint it all brown and then dry brush it with sandry dust, paint the rocks grey with a dry brush of white and then take off the masking tape and do Mornfang brown for the outside. And this is how they ended up. I'm pretty happy with them. It took a long time to do the layering, definitely probably the longest Lord of the Rings model I've ever done, but this model is going to be the centre of attention. It's bright white and uh, it's really worth the effort, I think. I also have a video on my channel which teaches you how to paint the Pippin, which also comes in this pack. If you want to see more pictures like this, uh, you can take a look at my Instagram, Miniature Johnny. Thanks for watching.